Good morning, everybody. Baron Blackbird coming to you on the 17th of May, 2021 with my Darkfire Heroes item shop review. Let's get to it. We're going to try a different format here today and edit it as we go forward. My goal is to get these done quicker so that you can spend more time playing the game, getting on your way uh, into your day, things like that. If you're looking for the deep dive into the particular valuations on certain things, we will be continuing to do that on Saturdays. But there's going to be a lot of things that we're going to skip Monday through Friday. Okay? That's the goal here. All right, let's see what we got today. Okay, we have 18 all cards here for 40 cents. She is a good hero in a lot of situations. A very good healer in a lot of situations. 18 cards for 40 cents, though. Even though it is specifically a good hero, I think that's overpriced. I think if you were to take uh, that 40 cents and save it and use it, um, save like... Yeah, I think if you save that up, uh, you're going to get a much better deal uh, other places. So, not a bad deal, but and I'm not going to look down anybody who buys it, but uh, that's a pass. Eight, uh, eight lightning cards for a buck. That's a pass. Oh, it's a huge, huge pass. Uh, Heroic Epic and Legend Legendary Chests only pick those up on uh, Gold Burst Days. Here are the Giant Gem Pack. We saw this offer the other day. It will give each of your clan members a 100 gem bonus if you purchase it. If you're in a full clan, that's a $50 deal to your clan. Um, if you're spending 100 bucks, then I consider you, or 100 bucks or more, uh, you're probably approaching whale status. You're probably not listening to me anyway. Um, I, I can't recommend to or not to buy this, but if you are going to buy it, now's the time to buy it. Okay, uh, we take uh, this 500 gem uh, $5 pack here uh, as our valuation for gems. That makes them a penny a piece. We take that 500 gems and we purchase 10,000 gold. Therefore, 2,000 gold is a dollar. Don't buy gold with gems. Don't. We're just using it for valuation for gold. We're not actually buying it, okay? And then down here, we take 100 gems for an energy stone. We figure 20 energy per stone. The maximum energy anybody can have is 25. And if you're lower than level uh, 15, then you'll have less energy than that. But we use 20 as the average there for $1 for 20 energy. Let's move forward into the packs. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. We're starting right off the top here. This is about $3 in value for this earth essence here. In total, they're charging you $10. Obviously, that's a pass. We have $50 here for Air Heroes. This particular pack has all five things going against it. Uh, again, this, so this is a pass. We talk about that every Saturday. Here we have a $40 for 770 cards of rare. It says 50% off, 50% off what? 50% off Rovio, Rovio's normal price for it. That doesn't mean it's worth twice as much. It doesn't mean it's worth even this. Rovio is the only company that can provide these things to us. It is a monopoly, therefore they have free reign to spend whatever, or to charge whatever they want. Simply because they, they charged us at one time $80 for this doesn't mean it's a value at 50% off. Just keep that in mind. This has four of the major things going against it. It does list the heroes here. Gem Flash Sale. This pops up quite often. This gives you 500 more gems than you typically get in the regular shop here. 2,500 for 20 versus 3,000 for 20. This is a pass. 770 epic cards for $100. It does list the heroes here and two or three epic heroes will spread across. So it has three of the major things going against it. That's a pass. Here we have 40,000 gold for $10. This is twice as much gold as you would normally get uh, for this price in cash. Not a huge fan of uh, buying uh, gold. And then down here at the bottom, extreme value, it says $50. We have approximately, we're going to call this $5 in Elemental Essence down here, meaning they're charging us $45 for 770 rare cards. I think that is too much. That has four of the things going against it, so this is also a pass. If you missed my community uh, announcement last week, I'm not coming down on Rovio. They need to, they put a lot of time, energy, and effort into this game. They need to get a return on their investment. They need to pay their people, put food on the table, pay the bills, etc. However, having said that, these prices are too high for the average uh, to casual gamer, okay? So just keep that in mind. We don't have a lot of microtransaction variants. The only real microtransaction variants we have is right here at the beginning. The special deals that we have here are here all the time. We're going to skip going over these today uh, because we're trying to keep this short for Monday through Friday. 
there's nothing new here, there's nothing new here, and there is nothing new here. And the one deal we will go over here is this one for $5 here. We have 50 cents in gems, $1.75 in keys. I personally value keys at a penny a piece. And we have a $1 for the energy stone here, taking us to $3.25 for those three items, meaning Rovio is charging us $1.75 for a resurrection stone. We can commonly pick up resurrection stones in the shop under the daily deals uh, right here, typically in the far right hand slot for gems. Usually it's five resurrection stones for 400 gems for 75 cents a piece. Much cheaper than this particular deal here. If you are going to spend money in the shop, my place that I always recommend is the Deluxe Monthly card for $15. That is if you are going to spend money on the game. Clearly I have. I have 10 days left on my Deluxe Monthly card. I will receive 11,500 gems for $15. That is basically $115 in gems based on the $5 gem pack purchase price or the monthly card here for $5. Skip an ice, okay, don't skip an ice cream, that's a bad one, always have ice cream. But skip a coffee, skip a donut, skip a snack, uh, whatever it might be, just have one less drink when you out, something. And then you can spend your five bucks here and you'll see no difference in your bottom line. But you will receive 3,300 gems, or basically $33 in gems. Okay, now let's jump into the mind bidders here real quick. The event shop is going to be open for a few more hours. We have until basically end of day today. We have 15 hours and 37 minutes from right now. By the time you see this video, it will be even less. In the event shop here, real quick, again, my top three purchases are, and I haven't, obviously I haven't made my purchases yet or even redeemed all of my event currency, bronze chests followed by silver chests. And if you have anything left, go to the gold chest. After that, my suggestion, is to unlock any of these heroes you don't have and any of these spells you don't have. Therefore, it would be uh, probably uh, spells first, so probably armor and then ice. Uh, this is freeze, I think. Yeah, freeze, okay. And then here getting uh, uh, Dagmar, Lorenzo, or Fena, unlocking them, buying the cheapest one you can to pick them up. I would start with Lorenzo and then probably move to uh, Fena and then maybe Dagmar. Dagmar, right? Yeah. Dagmar, however it's pronounced. After that, uh, I would probably look at... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, where are they? I'd probably look at the cosmetics here, the ones that are more visible in the game. After that, it is entirely up to you. There has been discussion, there has been discussion about purchasing the rare gear and uh, salvaging it on salvage day. However, we ran some math, and in my personal opinion, it's not worth it. I'm Aaron Blackbird. I hope this shortened and more condensed version of the Daily Item Shop review has helped you out and will get you on your day sooner. As we progress and cut down on the length of this particular format, they will become better and better as I begin to adjust them. Again, on Saturdays, we do an extended item shop review. It usually goes for 20 or 30 minutes where we do an absolute deep dive. This Saturday, I already know what the topic is going to be and it's going to be fantastic. I promise you that. I can be reached through Twitter, Twitch, and Discord, or via email at baronblackbird at gmail.com, and of course, YouTube. If you have any thoughts, suggestions, or if your offers are different than my offers, please take a screenshot, uh, send it to me, and let me know what your account level is so we can see what the differences are. Yes, you can spend the exact same amount of money as I do on an item, and you may receive more or less of the items. I'm not talking about when you redeem it as a random thing, just to be clear here. I'm not talking about if you were to purchase something that has a random uh, chance of something. Let's see here, I think the uh, Her Epic might be the best. Nope, don't, we may not have any of those today at all. Okay, we don't have any off, we don't have any today, but there are times when you may receive zero to five of something. Well, if I get zero to five, you might get zero to three or none. For example, the legendary chest here, I'm account level 15, I have a chance at an epic here. If you're less than level uh, account level 15, this won't even show up for you. You won't even get this epic item here, okay? Take care, have fun, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.